up guys? Today I wanted to show you this cheap and simple music video setup. So obviously when you're shooting a music video, you want to have a cool set. You can do this anywhere. You can do it in a garage. You can do it outside when it's dark. You can do it in a studio like we're, we're at right now. Sorry if this is bothering you, this cord. It's actually being ran to my quasar, which is key lighting me right here. Small two footer. And what it's actually doing is just lighting me up the subject. It's actually on the arm of a C stand. By the way, before we move on, all the links to everything that I'm using here is down below. You can find all this stuff. So yeah, a C stand and the arm is going out and there's a quasar taped to it and it's being my key light. So what I have behind me, I have a Aperture 120D behind a poster board. I got the poster board for like a dollar, two, three dollars from Walmart. So what you want to do is you just get a black poster board. There's two C stands back here with the arms extended and the black poster board is taped onto the arms of the C stand. That way the C stands can be out of the shot and you can have your black poster board hanging freely. So what I've done is I've actually took a pen, a key, scissors, anything, anything sharp and you just jab holes kind of big, not too small because the light won't pop through. You want to make them a little bit bigger. Just jabbed a couple holes in all around, scattered around, and I've actually set the light behind it. Now, if you've got like a friend or somebody to come help you on set, you can have them in the back waving the light around when the artist is performing. It makes for a cooler shot. But as you can see, it's very simple. If you wanted to do it like at home or something, you could tape it onto the side of regular light stands. I am using C stands because they're available here in the studio. I actually own some C stands as well. If you don't have any, look into getting some. The last thing that is major key to this shot, you need fog. Fog carries light. So when I put fog in the air, like this. Just like that. You see now the light beams are there. And the only reason that these beams are able to be seen is because of the fog. If there's no fog, there will be no beams. It will just be light and nothing. So like I said, you can get this poster board for a dollar, two, three dollars at Walmart. Use some stands or even you can have some friends hold it for you if you don't got money for stands. I'm talking to people with a budget and without a budget, beginners and experienced. And then you just want to have your key light. This is a quasar, so the back of it is black. I have it twisted so the black side is facing this way. That way not too much light leaks onto this board. I hope this is making sense. So two stands on each side, holding the black poster board, holes in it, fog, and a key light. Very simple. If you don't have the money, get friends to hold the board, uh, some type, something to hold the board up, and then maybe you can have a friend holding the light over top for a key light as well and with some fog. Either way, man, it's very simple. Dope little setup. Just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope that this was helpful for you, man. If it was, slap that like button, drop a comment or something. Let me know how you like it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.